It's an absolute miracle. iOS 10.2 has been jailbroken and you guys can do that right now if you dare. With the perks of a jailbreak, of course, come tweaks. So let's share 10 or 12 new jailbreak tweaks that work with iOS 10.2. Now Noctis has been released. It's a system-wide dark mode that changes your UI element to be a little bit more dark, even a little bit see-through. It's a very clean look that actually looks a lot better than night mode and eclipse in the actual system areas. So I like that it can actually be enabled very easily just like this. It even affects the 3D touch of certain apps. Really neat. Now Colorflow 2 has just been updated and now supports iOS 10. Only in Spotify for now, but Apple Music support is coming soon. So basically it will allow you to change the uh, view of the now playing page depending on what song you are playing. So over here, as you can see with this new song, it basically changes it like that. I can't actually skip anymore. Damn it, I don't pay for Spotify. But you guys get the idea. It's actually really, really neat. It changes the background to match the song. And this is Mutum LS. It'll give you the battery meter in a very nice display on the left over here on your lock screen. And this with camera shy on the bottom right is actually kind of cool. It migrates the little camera icon from the middle all the way to the right so you guys can easily distinguish where the camera is in case you forgot. And this is out of control right here, so it will actually change the colors of the control center toggles every time you turn your device on and off. Kind of cool, gives it a fresh look every single time. And this here is Reach Board. So whenever you're in an application and you double tap to activate reachability, it'll actually show you what you have copied in your pasting clipboard in there. So if it's a link, it'll actually preview the link for you. Kind of cool, I guess. No other tweak really does this. Never lower music is actually really handy. You guys know how you get a notification and your music actually dims or almost mutes and then it goes back up after the notification goes away. Well, this gets rid of that and that behavior is killed. Your music will stay constantly at the same audio level even when you get notifications now. And this one is actually kind of clean. No folder background does just what the name suggests. It removes the background in the folder so you basically get a little bit of a milky view into the background instead of having that cutout. Really cool. And Status of All X has just received an update that makes it more stable. It basically replaces all of your HUD for the volume with a little bar in your status bar. Really, really neat and something Apple should have implemented a while ago. And this here is Toucher. Toucher is a virtual home alternative that allows you to manipulate and control your home button just with a tap and press. So you can hold it, it'll go into the last used app, double tap and it opens up your app switcher, tap and hold and it'll lock your device. Really neat. It preserves the integrity of your home button so it'll last longer on older devices, but actually has more functions, which is neat. Now, Taptic Keys allows you to take advantage of the Taptic Engine in your iPhone 7 and 6S models to get a haptic feedback when using the keyboard. This is also new keys. I thought I'd throw this in here. It's actually one of my favorite tweaks because it gives your keyboard a very unique look. It's not officially supported on iOS 10, but it does work quite well. So in case you were wondering, that's new to keys. And this here is no low power auto lock. So just like the name suggests, it fixes one of the most annoying things about low power mode where it automatically dims your display and kills it after just a few seconds of not using it. So that's my only gripe with low power mode and this tweak does fix it. So guys, there it is. Those are just a few Cydia tweaks that have been updated to support 10.2 or actually brand new ones even. And I'll be sharing more with you. Uh, this jailbreak, man, I gotta tell you, it works so well. So this is the official version released by Look at Tedesco. It has that Kim Jong-un little logo, but it works great. I cannot believe it. It's more stable than the 10.1.1 jailbreak. Very easy to run. So I almost recommend it, but still, I would wait until the final release, which will drop here very shortly. In the meantime, I do hope you enjoyed these tweaks you can't install just yet. Peace.